companies like Copper Tone, Banana Boat attempt to maximize their effectiveness by protecting us from UVB rays, UVA rays, and the sun's harmful effects. The majority of the people on the earth buy the most popular sunscreens because they are really protective. But people don't know that those companies are more successful than companies that make oxybenzone free sunscreens because the companies that don't use oxybenzone aren't protective as companies that use oxybenzone like Coppertone. But even though oxybenzone is beneficial to you, it is actually really harmful for your skin. So what is oxybenzone? Oxybenzone is by far the most toxic ingredient in cosmetic products and a chemical used in 80% of our sunscreens. Even though oxybenzone can protect you from the sun, it is a problem because it can damage cells and lead to skin cancer. Also, oxybenzone can cause hormone disruption. Hormone disruption can cause low sperm count, early puberty to girls, pose a risk to reproductive systems, and cause hormone-related cancer. A also, a fun fact to know is that oxybenzone's formula is C14H12O3, 14 carbon, 12 hydrogen, 3 oxygen, and its mass is 228.24 grams. Believe it or not, a multitudinous amount of popular brands of sunscreen use oxybenzone. In fact, oxybenzone has probably been in contact with your skin at one time or another. Some of these popular brands include Coppertone, Banana Boat, Neutrogena, CVS, Equate, and Up and Up. Oxybenzone is used in these brands in attempts to maximize their effectiveness, despite the multiple negative effects of oxybenzone. The products in these brands that use oxybenzone are, more often than not, a culprit of having a higher SPF count, some of them going to the triple digits. Truthfully, you don't need a higher SPF count in order for improved protection. SPF 15 blocks at least 93% of the sun's photons, but many people recommend having an SPF between 30 and 45. There are products in these brands that do not handle oxybenzone. But unfortunately, many of these oxybenzone-free products aren't as popular as some of the more well-known products. As mentioned before, a majority of the more popular products contain oxybenzone within their formula. Please use the oxybenzone-free formulas to preserve our coral reefs and protect yourself. Also consider using alternative methods to block in the sun's rays, such as wearing hats or long clothing. These methods can also reduce the amount of sunscreen you use, so if it happens to have oxybenzone, it won't be as harmful to coral reefs. We get it. You use sunscreen to protect you from sunburns. Oxybenzone is used in sunscreen to absorb UV rays, thus protecting people from the sun's harmful effects. Oxybenzone slows the damaging effects that UV rays have before they get to one's skin. Oxybenzone is basically something to protect you from getting sunburns, moles, and whatnot. But what you didn't know until we started our inquiry project is that oxybenzone contributes to coral bleaching. Coral bleaching is a natural phenomenon that happens to coral, but oxybenzone speeds up the process. You may think that there needs to be a lot of oxybenzone to bleach coral, but even just one teaspoon of oxybenzone can be harmful to coral and cause it to bleach. In addition to harming coral, oxybenzone can take its toll on the human body by sinking into your skin and causing problems with the reproductive system. The good news is that there are sunscreens and they're made without oxybenzone. These sunscreens are instead produced with zinc oxide or titanium dioxide in place of the oxybenzone. Zinc oxide and titanium dioxide reflect instead of absorb UV rays like oxybenzone does. These sunscreens are less popular and widespread, but making them hard to find. But the best part of all is that they don't contribute to coral bleaching. Also, did you hear that recently a state legislator passed a bill banning the use of sunscreens with oxybenzone within our state? One senator stated, it's just one thing we can do for the environment. For our action plan, we decided to spread awareness on oxybenzone by posting our video on YouTube as well as on social media websites. 